Roll call. Reholder Bergen. Present. Reholder Carter. Present. Reholder Estrada. Present. Reholder Granados. Present. Reholder Kowalski. Here. Reholder Mirabella. Present. Reholder Wright. Present. Vice Chairman Jallo. Here. And Chairman Hudak. Present. Chairman, you have nine freeholders present. Jim, please relead us in the prayer and the flag. We'll be present. Humbly we ask God, the giver of peace and the lover of charity, to give the entire family of nations true agreement with his will and to grant the light of his spirit on all who work for justice and peace. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Jim, please read the statement of with the Open Public Meetings Act. Chair wishes to announce that pursuant to the requirements of New Jersey statutes annotated Title 10, Chapter 4, Section 10 of the Open Public Meetings Act, adequate notice of this meeting of the Board of Chosen Freeholders of the County of Union has been given by mailing the annual meeting schedule for the year 2014, along with periodic changes necessitated by circumstances, to the newspapers circulating within the County of Union who are designated to receive such notice, and by posting the annual meeting schedule for the year 2014 in the administration building and further by filing the annual meeting schedule for the year 2014 with the Office of the County Clerk. Uh, first, we have the approval of communications, which we will adopt next, week regular, next week's regular meeting. Our first department head this evening will be the Director of Administrative, administrative Services, Norm Albert. Chairman, members of the board, uh, the department has one resolution on for your agenda at this time, and I'd be happy to address any questions you have about it. Freeholders, any questions for Director Albert? Freeholder uh, Strada. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, that means that we are actually doubling up the amount that we have originally allocated to this uh, firm? Um, yes, that's true. In other words, they, they have used up all the 75000 that we allocated this year? They they. They have not. They've used uh, approximately 62,000, 62, almost 63,000 freeholder. Um, last year, uh, the total was uh, just under 126,000. They handle most of our disciplinaries. Good evening, Chairman, members of the board. Department of Correction has one resolution for your consideration. I'll try to answer whatever questions you may have. Bill, there's any questions for the director? Thank you, sir. Oh, did I miss someone? I apologize, uh, Freel Carter. It's okay. I put it up late, though. It's okay. Um, <laughs> in this resolution, um, we have an amount not to exceed. How much, we, this is something that we're renewing. How much did we utilize in the past year? Um, just as, to give you a snapshot, we've, the, the money that's allocated is, uh, gives me the liberty to send and they hold about 60 beds for me, 60 beds at, at a monetary rate agreed upon per diem price that comes up to that total figure that you're seeing. Uh, we're not averaging anywhere near 60 inmates per, per day. We're averaging probably 40 today. I actually have 35. And we're spending a little bit under $100,000 a month to send inmates over to that program. So uh, I see no reason that we would go anywhere near exceeding that amount. Um, the total so far, um, uh, you know, for this year is, and, and this year is demonstrably lower than last year, which is demonstrably lower than the year before, um, for two primary reasons. Number one, we've had the population reductions at the jail, and number two, um, I have to keep a core group of lower classification prisoners at the jail to perform certain functions and assignments, work assignments, uh, really just consistent with a lower classification of prisoner, like working in the kitchen and working in areas that are a little bit more of a security threat. Okay. So right. we're spending much less than what we're allocating. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Bill, any other comments or questions? Thank you, Director. Thank you. Department of Economic Development. 
Deputy County Manager Bill Reyes. Good evening, Chairman, freeholders. I have um, the Department of Economic Development has six items for your consideration. Prepare to answer any questions you may have. Well, can you give me a, a very quick explanation on the Safe Routes to School program? Uh, the, we're we're um, entering into an agreement of support for that application to the City of London. Yes, that is in um, is a New Jersey DOT grant. Um, I think the I believe the um, City of Linden is looking to make improvements on Wood Avenue. Um, it is mostly dedicated to uh, making sure that um, school age students are safe um, when they're using either for walking or uh, riding their bikes to school. So, or is it provide funding for, for traffic lights, for personnel to? All of the above. Of uh, the above. Linden will um, be the in the app do the application. They'll actually apply. And then if they receive the funding, they'll look into a study and what's the best way to make Linden and specifically Wood Avenue safer for students. Are, are any other municipalities applying for this one or Linden is the only one who asked for our support? Linden is the only one who has asked for our support. Okay. Thank you. Builders, any other questions for Director Reyes? Uh, Vice Chairman? What's going on in number five? Number five, okay. yes. I will uh, actually have Antonio Rivera because it is with related. Good evening, freeholders. Uh, resolution uh, number five is a request for funding under the Workforce Investment Act to provide occupational training in entrepreneurship training, class size training for adults, dislocated workers, and youth uh, throughout Union County. This is a great opportunity that we're embarking upon as the retail skills center in Jersey Gardens Mall is uh, facing a situation where we are going to take over and provide occupational training for uh, expanded services because the retail skills center was focused on just retail skills training, but the economy is requiring a lot more training of folks in various other sectors, uh, including but not limited to retail, hospitality, tourism, healthcare, transportation, logistics, and distribution financial services, supply chain management. So it's a myriad of training programs that fit the training needs of employers at the moment. Well, what, what's the difference between that and, and number four, where we're giving, where we're being requested to um, enter into a contract for a million dollars with Union County College to provide occupational training? Sorry, I didn't see number five. I thought we were referring to number four. The 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 I understand the question, Alfredo. Thank you. The the workforce investment board would be the lead in managing the retail skill center, and that's why we need authorization from this body. Why was the location of, of Jersey Gardens Mall chosen? It's a strategic location in terms of the investments made by both the city of Elizabeth and the freeholder board when the Jersey Gardens Mall was first opened. There's a conference room, there's a training room, there are offices there, and the current situation with <coughs> the, the current vendor, <coughs> if uh, they're running out of funding, so we would come in and take over as the lead agency to uh, provide those services at, at the center. So this is strategic location. Is there a fee associated to using the facility? Uh, my apologies? Is there a fee associated to using the facility at no. the Jersey Gardens Mall? No. Okay. Utilities. $1. Okay. Um, so, so then the contract before that, the, the, the contract with UCC, that's for, to provide the services at that location or is that something separate? Correct, about? correct. To provide train, occupation training at the facility uh, and, and work with a consortium of uh, agencies to provide the training. So have we done that with UCC before in the past? Uh, yes, we have. And, and how many people have, have service, been serviced out of UCC? We've, tr the last program on the Union County Choices, that, that was the, the previous rendition of 
the occupational sectoral training, there were over 200 people trained. No, they were answered. I was going to question in reference to four and five. So okay, sorry. I'll wait until off site um, after you. Do you have any other questions or anything else? Nope, that's it for that right now. Really, uh, Granados? Yep, in reference to uh, number four, the in demand occupation, what yes. are they considered to be? Uh, so, the in demand sectors that are our focus are retail, hospitality, tourism, health care, transportation, logistics, and distribution, construction financial services, and supply chain management. I just want to make sure, because I know uh, this week we had the opportunity of attending the Uni County College for uh, an event they ha held in reference to having people who graduated with GED, becoming new citizens, and also graduate with the Occupational Training Program. And they all came through the Workforce Investment Act, where they provided, you know, we provided funding through the county, Uni County Board of Children and Free Holders, and at the same time, we helped over, I believe, 80 individuals get into those different sectors in those different fields. So it's definitely a great opportunity for us, I believe. And, and, in, and fi one final piece I would say, this is also focusing on youth. Uh, I have been had the privilege this morning of uh, running into Freeholder Jallo at an interfaith council meeting, and I was the guest speaker there this morning, and the main concern was youth services. And so the churches are the, at the front line, at the vanguard of seeing the need for additional training and job placement. So, you know, something like this will be received overwhelmingly uh, positively by the community, just based on the anecdotal feedback that I received this morning. And, uh, Chairman, thank you. Also, in reference to the work in number five, the Workforce and Innovation Business Center, that will be run through Union County, correct? Absolutely. The board? Absolutely. Make sure we're clear on that, that the free other boards when that's in control. Absolutely, yes. Okay. And, and what that's going to allow us to, the opportunity to to pivot the training needs to the conditions on the ground as it relates to the economy. Very important. Good. And Tony, just a, a couple follow-up questions. The, the million dollars that now it's going to Union County College, correct? I'm, I'm sorry for your holding. Uh, num resolution number four. Yes. That million dollars, so it's going to the college to administer? They would be the fiscal agent. Uh, on the training. One of the, the idea here is to bring together a consortium of economic and business development folks and organizations like, for example, the uh, Union County Economic Development Corporation, the Elizabeth Development Company, and design the model around the training needs on the ground, working uh, closely with the New Jersey Economic Development Authority to ensure that the entrepreneurship training, for example, uh, is meeting the needs of the um, up-and-coming <coughs> startup organizations or businesses. So I'm sorry. So who is providing the oversight on the on the administration of the money? Is it is it is it the WIB? Is it the is it the state? Um, the, the funds that are going the workforce out. investment board. The workforce will yeah. provide. And and in terms of the funds that are going out, how much is it is making it towards um, you know actual training, entrepreneurial training? Is it like what's the breakdown of the funds in terms of how the money is being spent? It's a big number. It, it's, it is a big number. The, the very roughly what I can tell you today, uh, I can definitely tell you not 100% of the money is not going to go to Union County College. I can guarantee okay. you that. The idea here is to commit the funds. The on-the-job training, on training program, for example, that has uh, historically been managed by the Elizabeth Development Company had overwhelming success, overwhelming success. We funded them. Uh, the previous year for 40 uh, folks, they did 80. Uh, and the on-the-job training uh, program, for example, reimburses employers for taking a chance on someone that may, they may not otherwise hire for whether it's the economy or for whatever reason uh, and being able to uh, take that chance and hire the individual and get some production. Well, I appreciate it. A large, they're all worthy um, entities, I think, involved and purpose it sounds very good uh, it's a big number though so you know you know some feedback in terms of, you know, in terms of the, where the funds are going is, is, is helpful um, I appreciate that if we can get there what, what I can tell you is that the there 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 will be strict oversight by the workforce investment board and based on uh, and, and I believe that county manager that Ray is going to uh, confirm this 
uh, we have very strict guidelines from the state as to how we pay. So <laughs> if this is strictly, strictly a performance-based contract, Good. strictly okay. a performance based contract. So the number may be big, but if uh, <coughs> there's going to be room to pivot at a moment's notice, and, and, and so there should be no concern about it's not going to be a blank check to the county college or right, to that's, anybody. Right, that's where we, we want to make sure when we're, we're, we're administering these types of funds uh, to a particular project that it's getting to where it needs to go um, and assisting the people we want to assist and help boost you know, the job market here in Union County the way it should. So, Gerald, does any other questions on those two resolutions before we advance on the other one? Okay, anything else for Director Reyes? Good evening, Director Taylor. Good evening, Chairman and members of the board. The Department of Finance has four resolutions for your consideration this evening, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Bill, there's any questions for Director Taylor? These are all, looks like, budget modifications. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm sure we'll get a question about it at the regular meeting. <laughs> Uh, we have a pinch hitter for the Department of Human Services. Karen Dinsmore is uh, stepping in for our most tenured director. Yes. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Uh, the Department of Human Services has four resolutions on for tonight. I'd also like to beg your indulgence. They sent the pinch hitter in for this one. Um, I'd like to add one resolution from the floor on behalf of the correctional facility and the juvenile detention center. We'd like to amend a prior resolution and extend a contract with Horizon Health for health care services for the inmates and the residents of the detention center. This is a three-month extension while we prepare an RFP to go out for a competitive contract and the cost remains the same. So it's a $1.3 million extension through September 30th. All right, Builders, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> Vice Chairman. Do my best. Um, the the Amendment that you just referenced from from the floor. That's with regard to food services. Is that uh, no health health care services? Health care services. Okay. Right. Horizon Health. Horizon Health. Okay. I thought that coming down the pike was going to we were going to need an extension for the for food. Is that not? Um, that may be the case, but I don't think that that's up that's yet. Not okay. Right. That's all. Realtors, any uh, questions? Realtor Estrada. Oh, just a comment. I, I had a conversation earlier and one of the things is on these particular projects we have to make sure that we do it timely to minimize the extension because we may not necessarily gain all the um, in most cases not always uh, the most rewards in terms of pricing but we need to have the service so what can we say thank you well, director Gazza will be here to hear all about oh that. I'll tell him don't worry <laughs> <laughs> I certainly will <laughs> Well, there's any other questions on this matter? Ken, Andrew, do you have anything? Actually, if I may, Chair, uh, Director Gozo indicated one of the reasons for the extension is, is there's an opportunity to have a reduced cost, which is why I uh, wanted to do some uh, RFPs, and, and there's a new program that the state uh, may be implementing, which actually may get us a reduction here. So I think in this case, it's probably it's warranted. It's directly tied to the Affordable Care Act. If we are able to charge off some of the costs to Medicaid to the federal government, it will be a dramatic savings. So hopefully this three-month extension will be worth the county's while. Karen Dinsmore only brings us good news. <laughs> <laughs> Let the record show. <laughs> Anything else? No more. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Department of Parks and Recreation, Director Zuber. Yeah, yeah. The That's Department of Parks and Recreation has three items on tonight's agenda, and I shall try to answer any questions you might have. All right, Freight Holders, comments, questions? Freight Carter. Can you just go into number one a little bit and also um, number three? I may real that while I'm here, I'm going to answer number three, and I'm going to ask Director Sanchez to help me out with uh, resolutions number one and two. Uh, number three is an application for a ROID grant um, with a $7,000 match. Um, we're required to uh, uh, 
supply 20% of that match. This is for um, programs coming up. The sense, uh, this, this goes towards sensory friendly theater, uh, the luau party that we have for individuals with disabilities, and our barn dance. Um, this is the first year that um, it's required that all of these programs have to be inclusive. Um, it was uh, spread out last year over a few more different programs because they, they didn't need to be inclusive. Five to one match on this. It's a twenty percent. It's thirty. Yeah. We're five to one match. Three holders. Uh, resolution number one, which is extending the management contract for Kemper Sports in the amount of forty thousand two hundred dollars. That's for the three additional months that we're going to need in order to get through the RFP process that we're in the middle of right now for a competitive contract for management of our golf operations, which contract ends in October, uh, excuse me, August, the current. So we are doing the RFP process. Okay. Yes, we're right and in the middle of it, be issued next week, and then we'll start the process of evaluating and recommending. And this is at the current rate? Yes. Runnels Specialized Hospital, Sandra Dorr, our acting administrator. Good evening, Sandra. Hudak and the members of the Freeholder Board. I have three resolutions tonight on the agenda and would be happy to answer any questions you might have. Any questions for Sandra Freeholder? Thank you very much. Thank you. County Council. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Office of the County Council has one item on tonight's agenda relative to uh, ongoing litigation, and I'd be happy to answer any questions before you may have. Realtors, <coughs> any questions for the County Council? Thank you, County Council. <coughs> You're welcome. And we now have the County Manager. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Office of the County Manager has one resolution on for your consideration, and will attempt to answer any questions you may have. Any questions regarding this agreement? <coughs> so, uh, okay, manager, just I'm sure it'll be brought up at the public meeting as to why this agreement only covers uh, 2011 to 2012. Yes, Chairman, and uh, we will provide uh, explanation if, if I may, I may ask uh, Director Albert. He probably <coughs> can provide that information right right now. Good practice. Right. Thank you, Chairman. Um, the the question is why it only covers the first two it's years. That it's retroactive to three years ago. Yeah, it's it's um, well, I mean, it was open. It's open for four years. We're in negotiations on the next two. Um, there were health benefit con concessions and reasons to go in to the first two years. There's a zero increase in eleven. Um, and, and that's basically why we thought it was wise to break it up. And, and we have some significant progress on, on either 13 and 14 or 13, 14, and 15. Well, but that's a negotiation. And all, all, all in consistent, but this is consistent to where we've been it is. negotiating our, our, our contracts. It is and, and, and will be, yes. Okay, is okay. that it? Any other questions? Thank you. Um, real response resolutions, additions, subtractions, friendly amendments. I may uh, have a laudatory. Uh, please note that Realtor Carter is a laudatory for Realtor Kowalski. Just on number one, if we could add the word the uh, Rutgers Cooperative Extension. Uh, Mr. Clerk, put that note, please. Let me have, let me have a laudatory. A laudatory uh, by Realtor Granados. I will also have. So, uh, Freeholder Bergen. Uh, anyone else? Um, I will have a laudatory resolution as well. It's a possible advisory uh, board appointments. Also, just uh, I don't know if anyone wants to join me in number five. Um, tomorrow at the Linden High School uh, commencement, uh, they're going to be presenting a honorary diploma to a gentleman who um, missed his graduation 70 years ago. Uh, because he was he was storming the beaches in Normandy. Oh, wow. 
Um, so they're, they're bringing it back. So if, if everyone knows mine, I'd like to get that from the entire board. Absolutely. Um, so that brings that to a close. And uh, then we have a executive. I need to go into the executive session. County Council, would you kind of make your statement relative to that? <coughs> Certainly. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Pursuant to the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Act, the public body may enter into executive session for the purpose of discussing certain enumerated subjects. This board now wishes to enter into executive session for the purpose of discussing pending anticipated contract negotiations for continued health care coverage for county employees. The minutes of the executive session shall be separated from the minutes of the open public session. Minutes of the executive session redacted as appropriate and necessary shall be available in approximately 30 days. Clerk to the board shall retain the original minutes until, until such time as the confidential limitations have been removed, at which time they shall be made available. Upon the affirmative vote of a majority of the members present, the board may retire to executive session. Upon the board's return, given this is an agenda meeting, it will not take any formal action on the matters discussed. Can I entertain a motion to enter an executive? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. A uh, motion was made by Freelder Mayor Bellin. It was seconded by the Vice Chairman. Mr. Clark, please read the roll call. Freelder Bergen. Yes. Freelder Carter. Yes. Freelder Estrada. Yes. Fielder Granados? Yes. Fielder Kowalski? Yes. Fielder Mirabella? Aye. Fielder Wright? Yes. Vice Chairman Jalo? Aye. And Chairman Hudak? Aye. Chairman, you have nine votes in the affirmative. 730. We are in executive session. Motion is made by Freeholder Mirabella and seconded by Fielder Kowalski. Minister Clark, read the roll. Fielder Bergen? Yes. Fielder Carter? Yes. Fielder Estrada? Yes. Fielder Granados? Yes. Fielder Kowalski? Yes. Fielder Mirabella? Aye. Fielder Wright? Yes. Vice Chairman Jallo? Yes. And Chairman Hudak? Aye. Seven yes. Got nine votes in the affirmative. Thank you. County Clerk, any statements to read relative to our executive? Uh, th thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, as a result of uh, this evening's executive session, uh, there will be two additional items to be added to next week's agenda relative to uh, health care insurance and pharmace pharmaceutical. And that's it. Thank you, uh, County Council. You're Field. welcome. Field, is any other business to discuss? Nope. Uh, motion to adjourn? So no. moved. Second. Motion is made by Fielder Mayor Bellin, seconded by Fielder Carter. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Evening. Yes.